These school threats uh, continuing. A tech company may have created the technology that could help police track them faster. Volt Artificial Intelligence started in 2019 and could be used at schools. Local 3 Xavier Harris spoke with the founder who tells us how it works. Xavier. Well, Cindy, David, AI is changing the world as we know it, right? Dmitry Sokolowski is the co-founder of Volt AI, and he says their software can identify medical emergencies by using surveillance cameras. Uh, we've done trainings with law enforcement where uh, they've basically staged active shooter events to uh, to see how the system would react and respond. Dmitry Sokolowski says the 2018 active shooter situation led him and his co-founder to create Vault Artificial Intelligence. We were meeting up on the YouTube campus for lunch and right before uh, we got there, the campus was shut down. So how does the software work? Uh, Volt AI uses uh, the visual data, meaning the camera, the real-time feed of what the camera sees. He says when law enforcement reaches the school during an active shooter situation, it can be hard to locate the shooter. So as soon as we identify the weapon uh, in the video, in real time, we can identify the person and, and track that person as they move through campus. He says not only does the software notify law enforcement, it gives them a map of where the shooter has been and their current location. Sokolowski says not only does the software help during active shooter situations, it can also detect when students have medical emergencies or fights. Our system not only notifies the people on the ground, but we actually notify the law enforcement directly. The idea of this software was brought up to the Hamilton County School Board, and some members were in favor of the system, but it would ultimately have to be approved by the state. Now, developers say they are confident this new software could save the lives of not only several students, but people across the nation. They say the software is already being used by some universities, private schools, and companies. Very interesting, but now how much would this cost school districts? So it can, it can range on a case-by-case -case basis. Now, uh, for most organizations, they say it's $65 per camera per stream. Uh, however, for some schools, they offer a subsidized rate of $32 per stream. And for larger districts, further discounts are available because of the economies of scales. Xavier, thank you very much.